In the past, the sense of smell has been a great mystery to many scientists. How does the human body distinguish between the aroma of cookies baking and perhaps the more dangerous smell of something burning? It is questions like this that have driven scientists to uncover the cause of such odors, airborne molecules. As we sniff to distinguish a particular odor, molecules emitting from the substance travel through the air. The size of the molecule affects how far the odor can travel. The lightest molecule will travel the farthest. Scientists refer to this occurrence as volatility. Once the molecules enter the nose, they travel into a small patch of tissue called the olfactory membrane. The olfactory membrane is very small and located at the top of the nasal cavity. The membrane is made up of yellow-gray tissue and covered with a thick mucus. Within the membrane are many receptor cells, which are considered to be extensions of the brain itself. It has been theorized that each receptor cell is sensitive to the dimensions of a particular molecule. Once the correct molecule has been attached to the matching receptor cell, a nerve impulse is created. The nerve impulse will continue to the brain through a thin bone in the forehead called the cribriform plate. Beyond this plate lies the olfactory bulbs where the nerve impulse will make its first junction with the brain. In the olfactory bulb are many structures called glomeruli. The primary function of these structures is to distribute the converging nerve impulses to the brain in an orderly fashion. In the brain, the impulses are scattered to different areas where they are decoded and odors perceived. Scientists have determined that the human brain can identify between thousands of different odors. Thus, it is safe to say that the sense of smell is one of the most remarkable assets of the human body.